Hello, we're going to do some linear algebra. This is going to be matrix multiplication, part two. Matrix multiplication is just a series of row vector times column vector calculations. Let's do a review of row column vector multiplication. First thing is that in order to do this multiplication, you must have the same number of elements in each vector. So here we have a row vector with three elements and a column vector with three elements. So we are able to multiply this row vector times the column vector. And so in terms of the multiplication, we can think of it as R subscript 1 times C subscript 1. R subscript 1 is the first row of the lead matrix. C subscript 1 is the first column of the lag matrix. So the calculation, we're going to do 2 times 4, plus 3 times 1, plus 10 times 2, and we get an answer here of 21. Let's do an example. We want to multiply matrix A times matrix B. Here's matrix A, here's matrix B. First thing we need to test is whether we can actually multiply these two matrices. So matrix A is 2 by 2 two rows, two columns. Matrix B is two rows by two columns. If the inner numbers match, the inner numbers here match, we can calculate the product of A times B. So the two inner numbers match, we're good. And AB is going to be a two by two matrix. The size of A times B will be a two by two matrix, and that's based on the outer numbers. So in terms of the calculations, we're going to do the following. We're going to take row 1 of the lead matrix and multiply that by column 1 of the lagged matrix. And then we're going to take row 1 of the lead matrix. This is just 1 and 4 here. And we're going to multiply that by the second column of the lag matrix. So what we're doing in this matrix here, calculating these elements, is just a number of row vector times column vector calculations. And in the bottom here, we got row 2 of the lead vector multiplied by column 1 of the lagged vector, and then row 2 of the lead vector, 3 and 5, multiplied by the second column of the lagged vector, the 2 and 0. So just defining those things again. And so R subscript 1, if you want to think about it, more concrete terms. It's just this 1 and 4. C subscript 1 is just this 8 and 6. R subscript 2 is the 3 and 5. And C subscript 2 is 2 and 0. And so again, just to calculate A times B, we are going to do a series of row, column, vector multiplications. So starting here, R subscript 1 times C subscript 1. 1 times 8 plus 4 times 6. That's going to be the element here in row 1, column 1. Moving over, in row 1, column 2, that calculation is going to be based on 1 times 2 plus 4 times 0. Row 1 times the second column of the lag matrix. So 1 times 2 plus 4 times 0. Going to the bottom row of this matrix, taking the second row, multiplying it by the first column, so 3 times 8 plus 5 times 6, and then using those same numbers uh, for the row, that is, it's going to be 3 times 2 plus 5 times 0. One kind of thing to make sure that's happening here is that the numbers in parentheses should match vertically if you're doing this right. So the numbers in parentheses should match vertically if you're doing this right. And so the answer here is that A times B gives us the following 2 by 2 matrix. Let's do some more examples. Example where we have two 2 by 2 matrices. And here are the calculations. 2 times 1 plus 1 times 3. 2 times 4 plus 1 times 7. Dropping to the second row of the lead matrix, it's 4 times 1 plus 2 times 3. And then finally, it's going to be 4 times 4 plus 2 times 7. 
Again, notice the numbers here in parentheses match vertically. And doing the final calculations, we have our answer. Another example. Here we have a 2x2 two two matrix and a 2x1 two matrix. So just checking that we can actually multiply these two matrices. We can. The two inner numbers match. And the outer numbers tell us that the product of AB will be a 2x1 matrix. So the product will be 2x1, so two rows, one column. And so here's going to be our calculations. We're going to take row 1 from the lead matrix and multiply that by column 1 of the lag matrix. And then in the bottom element here, it's row 2 of the lead matrix multiplied by column 1 of the lag matrix. So the calculations. 0 times 3 plus 5 times 2. And then moving to the bottom row, 1 times 3 plus 6 times 2. And we get our 2 by 1 matrix. All right, some more examples. Here we have uh, a, a matrix A and matrix B. Both are 3 by 3 matrices. Can we multiply these? Yes, the inner numbers match. And the outer numbers tell us that our result will be a 3 by 3 matrix after multiplication. So this is what we want to do. It's going to be row 1 times column 1. That vector multiplication. Then it's going to be row 1 times column 2. Another vector multiplication. Then row 1 times column 3. And then we just move down. So here are the numerical results. Again, just a quick check. The numbers in parentheses should match vertically, and they do. So let me just go through a few of these. So the first element here in row 1, column 1, going to be 2 times 2 plus 1 times 3 plus 6 times 1. So that's where that's coming from. Moving over to the right, row 1, column 2. That calculation, we're taking... 2 times 1, then 1 times 4, and 6 times 5. So we're working with the middle column here of matrix B. And then finally, the last element in the first row. Once again, we're using row 1 for matrix A, but this time using column 3 of matrix B. So 2 times 6, 1 times 0, and then 6 times 8. So just kind of following that procedure to complete the remaining calculations, we get our following answer. All right, let's move on. Uh, here we have a 2 by 3 matrix and a 3 by 2 matrix. First, can we multiply these two matrices? Yes, the inner numbers match. And the outer numbers tell us that our result will be a 2 by 2 matrix. So with a 2 by 2 matrix, we want to plug in for these following elements here, these four elements, and here are the calculations. We take row 1 of the lead matrix and multiply that by column 1 of the lag matrix. So 2 times 5 plus 0 times 1 plus 3 times 4. And then to get the second element in the first row, it's going to be 2 times 2 plus 0 times 3 plus 3 times 6. And then just moving down to the second row here, take the second row of the lead matrix and multiply that by first column of the lag matrix. So 3 times 5 plus 4 times 1 plus 1 times 4. And then finally, for this last element, it's 3 times 2 plus 4 times 3 plus 1 times 6. And we'll get the following result. Uh, this time, let's multiply a 3 by 2 matrix by a 2 by 3 matrix. Once again, you'll notice that the two inner numbers match, so we can do this calculation. And the outer number suggests that our answer will be a 3 by 3 matrix. So this is what we need to populate now. And here are our calculations. I'll just go through the first row. So we're going to take the first row in column A and multiply that by the first row by the first column in column B. 
So five times two plus two times three. And then we're gonna take the first row in matrix A and multiply that by the second column in matrix B. So five times zero plus two times four. And then finally, we're gonna take five times three and add to that two times one. And that's completing the first row here. And then we just kind of proceed uh, going down. We'll start with the second row of the lead matrix and multiply that by the first column of the lag matrix and then the second column of the lag matrix and so on. All right, anyways, here is our results. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.